hello all in this system in this uh, video i will discuss about uh, the process or list of steps for setting up a flutter development environment on um, um, android studio so very first step is to install the git git you can download from um, git hyphen acm uh, website once you install git you need to install you need to download flutter sdk from uh, flutter.dv website then you need to paste um, that uh, sdk content what you are downloading uh, the flutter sdk under c colon source uh, under flutter folder once uh, that is uh, put under flutter folder and uh, don't make a mistake of uh, pasting uh, flutter sdk contents under program files uh, accessing program files will require some additional um, privileges uh, that is why you always try to uh, paste the flutter uh, sdk contents away from uh, the program files and once the flutter contents are placed inside the program files the next thing is to update the environment variable under the flutter folder you will find one more folder as called as bin and you can update the path to bin uh, folder of flutter sdk uh, in the environment variable uh, once uh, this has been set up you can test uh, the flutter installation by running a flutter doctor on um, uh, the command prompt it will tell you what has been set what is not been set what the license has, uh, has been accepted is there anything wrong uh, uh, during the setup of uh, the flutter sdk and uh, the final step is to add a Flutter and Dart plugin to Android Studio. So we'll uh, see one by one step and uh, we will understand how to fire up our uh, Flutter development environment. So what I'll do is I'll take you to my uh, browser, then uh, git download. So you can download git from git-sem.com. So here there are multiple downloads depending on the operating system you are running. You can uh, download on Mac OS or Windows or Linux or Unix. I'll go with the Windows. Uh, then I can download the one which is very much optimal for my system. It has started already downloading. It is a 48.7 MB file. It uh, will take some time to download. Once uh, the git is downloaded, um, uh, let me install it. Uh, for those of you uh, who are new to uh, git uh, who doesn't know what is git git is a version control repository it was uh, developed by the inventors of uh, linux uh, to control the versioning uh, many times we will uh, we are very much aware that while developing the programs what we have done changes yesterday uh, if it becomes relevant today and if you are not able to switch back to the previous um, version of the program that is a big headache Otherwise, if um, our part of the code gets deleted and if we want to reproduce that code, uh, no developer can write the uh, same uh, code for two times. There will be some uh, uh, mismatches between the previous code and this code. So if you profile or version control your uh, programs, so anytime you can switch back or uh, you can uh, navigate uh, throughout your development lifecycle. This is all about the Git. So uh, git is downloaded, click on git, uh, installation file and uh, here you will be asked a set of questions or some configuration options will be asked to you. Uh, so here my git is starting, yes, uh, the installation box I should be able to see, yes it has started the installation. Uh, as a part of installation, I will uh, in which location I want to install git and uh, some of the additional uh, if you want to use a git bash means command line tool if you want to git, uh, use the git GUI it is a GUI tool anything you can choose uh, but I will choose both because it is a default um, uh, git command if you want to uh, I, if you want to update git on like a regular basis you can do uh, for now I don't want to update git uh, so here it is asking you to set up will create a program shortcuts uh, so under git folder all my git executable will be stored so here 
uh, anything you can choose so i will i'm going up with uh, uh, web editor so get from the command line also from the third party software it is uh, i require this i uh, use open ssl uh, library choose the default uh, choose the default choose the default choose the default so git credentials manager handles the credentials for azure DevOps, github so enable file caching yes so enable experimental support or pseudo console for now i will ignore this and uh, let me get back uh, to installation again uh, to modify the installation in case if i want to enable the, uh, the thing which i did not select so my git installation has been started now so we will wait for a while and check uh, we will wait for a while and see and uh, uh, verify whether git has been installed properly or not